half a year ago, I did a video on the best dog companions in video games. Surprisingly though, I didn't include a single dog from a horror game. I know, what the hell is wrong with me? Regardless, I'm back yet again to talk about dogs and video games. This time we're focusing on horror games. With dogs of my own, seeing them in video games is both exciting and scary at the same time. Most cases, I tend to root for the survival of the dog over the main character themselves. I know, kinda fucked up. Anyway, on this episode of Nerdspace Games, I'm taking a look at some of the best dogs in horror games. This includes companions, cameos, etc. The only rule that I have for today's video is that the dog featured on this list must be from a horror game. No exceptions. By the way, I do plan on avoiding spoilers for the most part even if some of the entries are pretty old. With that being said, just announcing the dog itself and what it does is already a minor spoiler for some entries. So keep in mind that some entries will contain minor spoilers including a side quest in a recent game that came out last year. Before we get started though, if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel if you like the content that I bring you guys. Also leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed today's topic. Anyway, my name is Ruben with Nerdspace Games and this is my top 10 best dogs in horror games. Let's get it. Number 10, Anubis, Claire. Today's list features some games that I actually haven't played, but I didn't think it was fair to exclude a dog just because I didn't play the game. And one of those games is Claire in which the main protagonist has a dog of her own, Anubis. Anubis is a German Shepherd and it's Claire's only companion throughout the events of the game. Inspired by the atmosphere of Silent Hill, Claire follows the main character of the same name as she searches the dark corridors for her comatose mother. Unlike Silent Hill, however, this game instead is a side-scrolling game that focuses on flight versus fight. Claire has nothing to defend herself against these creatures that walk around in the dark outside of her wits, her flashlight, and of course, Anubis. Sadly, Anubis doesn't do much in terms of combat, but he does play an important part in the game by alerting Claire of the dangers nearby. With a dog that can sense the evil around you before you find yourself in a bad situation, it's fair to say that this loyal companion deserves a spot on today's list. Number 9. Mira, Silent Hill 2 Mira is probably the least helpful dog on today's list, but it didn't feel right to not include this cutie on the best dogs of horror games. Minor spoiler for an alternate ending by the way for Silent Hill 2. Anyway, Mira is a gorgeous little Shiba Inu that is only seen in a brief scene in one of the alternate endings of Silent Hill 2. As with other entries of the series, Silent Hill 2 features some joke endings. While the UFO ending might be one that is seen in just about every entry, the dog ending of Silent Hill 2 is easily one of the cutest endings of the franchise. Getting this ending isn't exactly the easiest though. To get the dog ending, the player has to unlock each of the main endings of the game. Maria, and water, and leave. Then, after starting New Game Plus, James can find a dog key hidden inside a doghouse. Then, after arriving at the Lakeview Hotel, you'll need to find a door that can be unlocked using the dog key. Entering this room will activate the dog ending as James will come face to face with the source of all of his pain, a Shiba Inu named Mira. Number 8, Mayor Setter, Alan Wake 2. I guess I should start by saying that this entry is kind of a minor spoiler for Alan Wake 2. While Sutter has probably the shortest amount of time on screen compared to every other entry on today's list, his part in the game is definitely memorable and, in a way, he follows you everywhere you go. As you're exploring Bright Falls and the areas around it as Saga Anderson, you'll come across multiple political campaign signs, most of which are usually short little messages about why you should vote Sutter for mayor. Well, you might not notice it right away, but each sign points to the fact that Mayor Sutter is actually a dog. After finding all of the signs and then finding Setter in a downtown watery, you'll even get to pet it and unlock a charm while doing so. Thinking back to all the different signs that you found around Bright Falls, you immediately start to realize the hilarious yet hidden messages that each one hints at. Overall, the dog doesn't do much except sit there and be adorable, but the fact that this iconic mayor has won the hearts of the entire town of Bright Falls is deserving enough to crack today's list. Plus, he gave us one hell of a scavenger hunt in order to pet this adorable canine. Number 7, Danny, Lost in Vivo. In Lost in Vivo, we are immediately introduced to Danny as she's the main character's service animal. This corgi is extremely adorable, and when I first heard about this game, I was hesitant about playing it. That's because after seeing how damn cute this dog was, I definitely didn't want to get through most of the game only to then watch this adorable corgi pay the ultimate price. But I eventually gave this game a chance, and while I'm not going to spoil anything, I will say that the adventure that this game takes you on is one that is very near and dear to my heart. I love my dogs. I would do anything for them, including following them into the deepest and darkest parts of the sewers and battling a bunch of terrifying creatures. 
Seriously, that's how much I love my dogs. So Danny tugs at my heartstrings as she reminds me of what I'm willing to do for my dogs. As she continues to be pulled deeper and deeper into the darkness, I can't help but relate to the main character as they continue to follow her, all in an effort to save her. She may not fight off a bunch of monsters or enemies like other dogs on this list, but her innocence as she calls to the player for help is something that stands out as one of the most memorable encounters with dogs in a horror game. Number 6. Atlas – The Last of Us Part 2 There is an argument that could be made that The Last of Us series is not a horror franchise, but in fact an action franchise. And for the most part, I would agree. However, I feel like The Last of Us is just as much of a horror game as Resident Evil 4 is. Actually, I would qualify both games as action horror. So, for that reason, and some of the scarier moments with the infected and the Rat King, I decided to include Alice from The Last of Us 2 on this list. In the second installment of The Last of Us, the main group that acts as the antagonist opposite of Ellie are the WLF, also known as the Wolves. Ironic name since one of the key traits about this group is the fact that they train dogs to assist them on patrolling the area around Seattle. One of the trained guard dogs is Alice, Mel's personal guard dog. Throughout the game, we see Alice be her adorable self and win over our hearts. But we also see the more aggressive guard dog side of her when Abby's team is sent on a mission and Alice takes down some affected. In fact, Alice even rescues Abby at one point by taking down a fucking clicker. I know, this dog is a beast. Overall, Alice is one of the best dogs of the franchise and honestly, I kinda wish she was more involved with Abby's side of the story. Perhaps she could have been Abby's guard dog instead of Mel. That would have made things a lot more interesting, to be honest. Number 5. Rosie – The Walking Dead Telltale Series Rosie isn't the only dog that pops up in The Walking Dead Telltale Series, but she is the best one. Honestly, after coming across Sam in Season 2, my hopes were very low for us to come across a good dog that wouldn't attack us for food. Not that I blame Sam, of course. Luckily, my fears were unfounded as Clementine comes across Rosie in the final season. Although Rosie saved Clementine from a walker in one of their first meetings with each other, their relationship wasn't exactly the smoothest one. Because of her trauma from Sam in Season 2, Clementine is hesitant to trust Rosie and Rosie senses this fear and growls at Clementine every time she sees her. Over time though, depending on the player's choices, Clementine and Rosie grow closer in which Rosie will save Clementine later on in the season. She's a loyal dog that will always protect her owners while also being a fucking badass that will maul the hell out of walkers and enemies that pose a threat to Clementine and her friends. Number 4, The Dog, Resident Evil 4. For whatever reason, fans seem to argue constantly regarding the animal that helps Leon take down the El Giante. It seems even though Leon specifically says, hey, it's that dog, fans still argue that it looks more similar to a wolf than a dog. Hey, it's that dog. Regardless of your standpoint on this though, you can't deny that this is in fact a very good boy. Even if it is a wolf, for today's episode of Nerd Space, we're going to look at it as it being man's best friend. Anyway, while this dog doesn't have a name, it definitely stands out as being one of the more iconic dogs in horror games. Depending on which version of the game you play, you first come across this dog in one of two different locations in which it's caught in a bear trap. From this exact moment, you have one of two choices. You can be a massive piece of shit and not help the dog, or you can save the dog and let it go free. Unless you have no soul, most gamers will of course save the dog. Doing so will allow the dog to assist Leon later on in the game when he comes face to face with his first El Gigante. In this fight, the dog becomes a fantastic ally for Leon as it'll distract the beast while the player can deal damage to it. It's sad Capcom doesn't explore dog allies more in Resident Evil because honestly, the dog made a better ally than most of the AI allies of the franchise. Number 3. Brown – Rule of Rose Unfortunately, due to a bit of a controversial subject that I won't really dive into, Rule Rose was a very underappreciated survival horror game that will never get the love and respect that it deserves. And while the gameplay is clunky, even by classic survival horror standards, the game stood out from most of its competitors and in my opinion, it's one of the best hidden gems of the genre. Rule Rose follows Jennifer as she's kidnapped by an organization of orphan young girls that call themselves Red Canyon. As the game progresses, Jennifer eventually finds Brown, a Labrador Retriever, tied up and hanging from the ceiling. She rescues her dog, and Brown joins her for the majority of the game as he's a key part in assisting her. From being able to locate items by using the scent or find commands to distract the enemies and some bosses while Jennifer finishes it off. Brown proves to be a loyal friend to Jennifer as she faces the many nightmares that await her. My favorite command though is the one where Jennifer can hug and pet Brown. I mean, Brown is obviously a very good dog, and for that reason, the dude deserves some love. 
especially with some of the shit that's going to go down in this game. Overall, Brown reminded me of another doll companion from a game that actually came out about a year prior to Rural Rose, which honestly, we may or may not see later on. Still, this Labrador Retriever definitely earned its spot here on today's list of best dogs in horror games. Number 2. Bullet Blair Witch Most would argue that the best part about the Blair Witch game by Blooper Team is Bullet, the canine partner to Ellis, the main protagonist. Throughout the game, as Ellis searches for a missing boy, Bullet becomes a key gameplay mechanic throughout the experience. From the get-go, Bullet proves how great of an ally and friend he is as he's able to obey every command that Ellis gives him. From alerting Ellis to mysterious forces in the woods to helping Ellis stay on the right path, Bullet proves to be a more reliable character than even Ellis himself is. Actually, not gonna lie, my entire playthrough of this game was filled with tense moments of anxiety as I was always worried about the survival of Bullet, not Ellis. Honestly, I didn't even really like Ellis that much. Bullet was the main character for me, and in this game, my ultimate goal was to make sure that he survives somehow regardless of what happens to Ellis. Speaking of which, the game states from the very start of it that the way Ellis treats Bullet and the decisions made throughout the game can influence certain elements of the ending. Therefore, I found myself doing everything I possibly could do to make sure Bullet was treated well. Which on that note, if any of you even considered reprimanding that cute and adorable dog, fuck you. I don't care what your reasoning was, I will never forgive you. Anyway, Blair Witch didn't get a lot of good reception, but the one shining part of it that kept those of us hooked was Bullet's story. Number 1. Huey, Haunting Ground Huey is without a doubt the best dog companion in a horror game. In Haunting Ground, we follow Fiona, a young girl who finds herself trapped in a dark and gloomy castle. Unlike most survival horror games, Fiona has barely anything to defend herself and in most cases she'll need to hide under tables or in wardrobes to avoid being caught by one of the soccer enemies of the game. Thankfully, she has probably the best companion ever in the form of Huey, a white German Shepherd. Outside of being extremely fucking cute, Huey is actually a pretty good ally to have. While Fiona doesn't have a weapon at her disposal, she instead can use Huey as her main line of defense. From distracting enemies to mauling the hell out of them, Huey can give Fiona enough time to run and hide. Which, as you would expect from a game that focuses on stalker enemies, this is extremely valuable. Though, it's important to note that Huey can get injured on normal, and on hard, he could even be killed and the player will get a game over. Which honestly, kind of sucks bad because even though he doesn't die on normal, you still feel kind of shitty in using him as a distraction only to then find him on the ground where you'll need to feed him in order to heal him. Makes you kind of regret ever using him in combat, especially when you hear his whimpers. Overall though, Huey will do just about anything that Fiona commands in order to keep her safe and help her escape the maniacs that you come across in Haunting Ground. That does it for this episode of Nerdspace Games. Hit up the comments and let me know what you think of my list. Is Huey the best dog in a horror game or is there another dog that deserves that title? Also, let me know if there's any other dogs in horror games that I missed. Anyway, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more survival horror content. Also, leave a like in today's video if you enjoyed today's topic. But thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Nerdspace Games. Take care. Thank you.